Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Keep those questions and suggestions coming. I get to them as soon as I possibly can. In case you don't watch Steve Sterlacci's channel, I highly recommend it, especially if you use other modelers besides the Tone Master Pro. Steve did a video recently about running a fuzz pedal in FX Loop 1, and in that video he mentioned that the Tone Master Pro is the only modeler on the market right now that has analog effects loops. I got curious about trying a similar setup, so I got an Electro Harmonics Satisfaction fuzz pedal. Now most of you should know what fuzz this pedal is supposed to emulate, but just in case you don't, it's supposed to emulate the Maestro FZ1 fuzz pedal that Keith Richards used on the early Rolling Stones hit Satisfaction. It's a really iconic sound, and most people recognize the song long before Mick Jagger starts singing. The thing about that pedal is, it really doesn't sound very good. I had a friend who used to own one years and years ago, and I remember it being thin and splatty sounding. It's not a smooth fuzz like the Electro Harmonics Big Muff. Your best bet is to play single notes, because even a simple power chord can sound bad. You can adjust the volume and attack controls to get something more tame, but then you lose some volume, and the sound, <laughs> it's still thin. Now here's where things get a little weird. The circuitry on this pedal is not a copy of the Maestro Fuzz pedal. Instead, it's a copy of the Jordan Boston Fuzz pedal. Why? No idea. Electro Harmonics just says that it's patterned after one of the iconic early fuzz pedals from the 1960s. Now, the name of the pedal certainly suggests the Maestro FZ1, though. So how does it sound? Surprisingly, it's pretty darn close to the Maestro Fuzz pedal. Thin and splatty. Hard to use. So if this pedal is a one-shot deal, then why did I get it? Well, because I wanted to try a real fuzz pedal in the analog loop, and this pedal is inexpensive. And for some odd reason, I thought that Electro Harmonics might have improved the sound, adding some bass back into the signal. Nope. They did leave a spot on the circuit board for adding a C7 capacitor, which is supposed to increase the bass response. But I wanted to see if there's anything that I can do on the Tone Master Pro to make this pedal a little more usable. Let's switch over to the Pro Control app and start putting together a new preset. Now before I go any further, I think I should explain what the FX loops are because some of you guys might have no clue about it. The FX loops allow you to hook up your analog pedals to the Tone Master Pro. If you take a look on the back of the Tone Master Pro on the left side, over by the input jacks, right next to the input jacks, you'll see loop 1, loop 2, loop 3, and loop 4. And each one of those loops has a quarter inch send and a quarter inch return. Loop 1 and loop 2 are analog loops, and they can only be in the beginning of the signal path, you know, because they're analog, you can't move them around. Loops three and four are digital, so you can place them anywhere in the signal path. So like for this test, what I'm doing is I'm using loop one. I have a quarter inch going from the send to the input on the fuzz pedal. And then the jack that says amp goes to the return on the loop one on the Tone Master Pro. So in other words, the signal goes out of the Tone Master Pro into the fuzz pedal, and then from the fuzz pedal, back to the Tone Master Pro, and down the rest of the signal path. For right now, the preset is going to have FX Loop 1, an amp, and a little reverb. Maybe the right amp will tame it, who knows? I've tried the Fender amps, and they're a bit bright as it is already, so this time I'm going to use the Vox AC30, or the UK30 as it's listed on the Tone Master Pro. There's not much to adjust, volume and cut. I've got both at noon, which makes for a good clean sound when the fuzz isn't engaged. I'm also using the plate reverb because of that classic sound. Mix is at 16%, so it's not overbearing. Right now I have both the volume and attack control set at 1 o'clock on the satisfaction pedal. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
thin and splatty, right? Not horrible, but I think we could add in some bass using an EQ pedal. I'm not sure if it'll work, but let's give it a try. I set up the same preset, but I added the EQ7 pedal to it. Right now, these are my EQ settings. Bass is boosted, mid is dropped, and the very high end is dropped. All right, let's see how that sounds. Okay, I think that's helped a lot. So I've added the EQ7 to the foot switch that turns FX Loop 1 on and off. Now when I turn on FX Loop 1, it'll also turn on the EQ7 pedal. And when I go back to clean, it'll also turn the EQ7 off. Success! All right, let's save this preset. I mean, I love it when a plan comes together, but we're not done yet. We have two other EQ pedals to try. So let's swap in the EQ5 pedal and again boost the lows. Got the 80, 240, and the 750 boosted. 6.6 .6 is dropped down just a hair. All right, let's see how this sounds. Not bad. That sounds really nice. But now let's try it with the EQ3 pedal. And all I've done there is just turn up the bass control. You know, that's not bad, and I could probably tweak it a little more to get it better, but right now I'm really preferring the sound with the EQ5. But we should test the pedal in all three presets back-to-back -back just to see how they sound. So what do you think, guys? Was I able to make the Satisfaction Fuzz Pedal any more usable, or is it just better in its original thin, splatty state? Do you think that I could have fixed it even better? You know, I thought I liked the version with the EQ5, but now after listening to those demos, I really like the version with the EQ3. Let me know what you think. I'll have all new content this Friday. You don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great week, and I'll be talking with you again on Friday.